Judge Jenkins, you would like the governor to allow uh, you, you know, local governments the opportunity to require people to wear their masks. So um, what would you like to happen as far as when do you think if the governor were to allow that, what, what would you require of people as far as situations, as far as wearing masks? When would they have to wear them? Where would they have to wear them, et cetera? Sure. So the doctors have recently uh, told us that the most important thing we can do is wear masks. There are now growing peer-reviewed articles coming out in medical journals about the uh, safety uh, effect for both you and others in wearing the mask. This is different than what they told us uh, only a short time ago. So what uh, I'm proposing is that all of the recommendations in the governor's Open Texas document uh, that he's not enforcing, that he either enforces them himself as requirements or he allows us to do so. How I would propose that we do that, and I don't think it'll be necessary to really write any tickets, but uh, for people that are violating those uh, safety protocols in the Open Texas uh, gov document that he signed off on uh, and created that was largely lifted from uh, the local jurisdictions that were leading this uh, fight, um, that those uh, fines would be no greater than a parking ticket. Okay, so in Dallas, that's $30. Uh, and I think if you just have a little bit of enforcement there, um, then what you'll see is the vast majority of the people will go ahead and wear the mask and they'll save themselves and others uh, from uh, getting sick and more people dying, and it'll leave our economy open. And I've talked to business leaders, and they agree with me, and they also are going to be pushing uh, the governor to do, to do just that. Uh, he could do it himself, or he could allow us to do it. The important thing is that it gets done because we're all in this together, and we've got to save as many lives as possible to keep our economy moving. How would you enforce that? So, in other words, if people you know, they got the fine and they didn't pay the fine. What would you do? Oh, okay. So um, I think most people would never get a fine to begin with because they just get warnings. Um, you know, I'd, I'd have to go and look what happens when you don't pay parking tickets. I think some money is tacked onto that. Um, you know, the governor is uh, uh, concerned that this is somehow a backdoor attempt to load more people into our jail. We don't want to jail people. Uh, we have a problem with a jail population in a jail that has uh, hundreds of people with COVID in there. The last thing we want to do is put people in jail for not wearing a mask. What we do want to do is do some very light enforcement um, that will allow us to achieve compliance so that, the, the, so that everyone is safe. It's not fair that some people are out there wearing masks, but they're going to get sick anyway because other people are not wearing the mask. Now that we know from the medical journals that the mask is very protective and the most important thing that we can do. What scenarios would be part of the requirement? In other words, folks would have to wear a mask when they go into all buildings. Uh, what, what, what's your thought on that? How would that work? So I defer to the public health uh, doctors on that, but my understanding is that uh, the mask is uh, protective when you're outside your home um, and not walking the dog or exercising away from others. Um, you want to wear that mask when you're around other people, whether on public transportation or in a building that are outside your home, you'd want to wear the mask. In your uh, statement yesterday, uh, you said that uh, you thought more people were coming down with COVID because increased activity and human contact, loosening of masking and social distancing, both brought on by the governor's decision to accelerate opening and limit our local ability to enforce recommendations from the governor or medical experts. Um, do you think that the state open, reopened businesses too soon? And do you think that the state needs to go back uh, and perhaps um, close some businesses? Where are you on that? The problem was that the state uh, opened in ways that are different than the guidelines from the Open America CDC guidelines or from what the local health doctors recommended. Specifically, uh, it was recommended that businesses with the least amount of 
the possibility of spread would open first and that you would open those in distinct two week intervals so that you could watch uh, uh, closely and that you could test uh, people as they return to work. We didn't have enough tests. We, um, the state didn't open in those distinct intervals and it opened things like movie theaters and restaurants that should be opened a little later uh, as the first things. And so, uh, that was contrary to what all the doctors uh, locally and nationally recommended. Um, and then second, and equally important, when you are opening movie theaters and restaurants and all those sort of things that the governor opened um, back uh, in late April, it sends a message to people that things are getting better, that they can let their guard down, and we're seeing more and more people do that. We were at 72% compliance with good, healthy practices um, before the governor's opened Texas. Within days, it went down to 60%. I don't know what it is today, according to UT Southwestern, but it appears to be loosening. Texas, we would have a very low number of COVID cases and have it basically under control um, about now and uh, to the end of this month in July, it would be uh, under control and we'd be at that new normal, uh, which is the green color on our color chart. And unfortunately, what we're seeing now in Texas and every urban area, including Dallas County, is the largest amount of cases we've ever seen. And not just new cases from testing, which can be explained partially by more testing, but we're seeing uh, more people in the hospital with COVID, uh, both in Dallas County and North Texas and in Texas than ever before, Jack, an over 40% increase in COVID hospitalizations in the last 14 days. Are people just not being responsible? Uh, you know, uh, leadership matters. And when the leaders are not clear on what uh, the requirements are, um, then bad things happen. But it's never too late to follow science. Um, I'm asking the governor to either lead on the science of requiring the masking and requiring uh, the social distancing, um, or just to step back and let the local uh, officials who did it so well throughout the state uh, for the first six weeks of this epidemic um, to, to lead on masking and social distancing. Look, the medical community is not asking for businesses to shut down. They're asking for people to wear masks. Uh, and every business person and every person um, who's concerned about either the economy or public health, or like most of us, both, uh, should be for that. Um, we, we don't want our workforce sick. We don't want to cripple consumer confidence. And if the doctors believe that we can go back to work with masks on, then we need to do that. But to get compliance, you have to have some requirements. But do you think that the public should also bear some responsibility that they need to wear masks, that they should know that they should wear masks? So some people Absolutely. don't, you know, some people don't want to, obviously. Um, others do. Um, you know, at some point, though, do people have to just take their own responsibility to do the right thing? Absolutely. A key part of this, uh, Jack, is personal responsibility. The governor uh, will tell you what is legal, and it may or may not be uh, uh, in line with science. For instance, he's saying you don't have to wear a mask right now legally, but the scientists are telling you that you do. He's telling you that you should. He just won't uh, put any um, enforcement uh, behind that. Uh, and so you need to focus on what is safe and how do we know what is safe? We listen to the people who've trained their entire adult lives to advise us in this moment. And those are epidemiologists who study epidemics, infectious disease doctors, and COVID is an infectious disease, and public health experts. And what they're telling you is their peer-reviewed medical journals are telling you the most important thing you can do is wear a mask. So you don't want to wait for politicians to lead. They may, they may not lead. You need to take personal responsibility and lead your family and wear those masks when you're outside the home. Governor 
yesterday said during his news conference um, and his office followed up today, uh, they say none of these local officials, because I asked about the letter that was signed by a variety of mayors, none of these local officials have lifted a finger to impose penalties and enforcement mechanisms currently available to them. Um, and that, and I asked, well, what is that? And they, and they said it was capacity limits that local law enforcement codes can go in there and make sure that um, restaurants, businesses, et cetera, are uh, enforcing the capacity limits. Um, what's your thought on that? Well, the city of Dallas and the county are uh, sending their inspectors out and checking on capacity limits. Um, the governor, unfortunately, is taking the same, he's taking his cues from President Trump. And one place where President Trump is dis disserving the country and the governor mimicking him as a disservice to our state is for the leaders in power to play the victim card and say it's other people's fault. It's not the fault of every mayor in Texas or every county judge in Texas that the governor took away the enforcement mechanisms and, and the, the powers that they had to keep people safe. And let's be honest, they were doing a lot better job of that than the governor's doing now. But it's not too late um, to turn towards science, to have meetings, not with the local leaders, but to have meetings with the doctors um, who are leading the uh, efforts in these large urban areas. Listen not to your friends who are doctors, but the doctors at the hospital have chosen to be the chiefs of their departments leading this. Um, and and uh, we'll go a long way towards uh, uh, solving this. There's plenty of blame to go around when people make bad decisions, but blaming 20 year olds or blaming uh, mayors uh, is not leadership. Uh, that's just playing the victim and it does nothing to keep uh, our shared constituents safe. If the governor did give local governments the ability to, you know, require people to wear masks, do you think you would have support of the commissioner's court to issue fines against those who did not wear their masks? Yeah, I think of the, uh, knowing what we know now, remember that, J fan that is thirty dollars um, you know I think we would and look if the governor does not trust local officials um, he can always do this himself I don't care who it is that gets the credit for people wearing masks what I care about is people not getting COVID and dying and and our economy not getting shut down uh, because we're not taking care of what is the beginning of a second wave of uh, COVID. And if we, if we act with science now, we can control it. If we dawdle around for weeks, it'll be uh, too late to have the sort of outcome we could have if we act right now. Judge Jenkins, thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate it today. Get the CBS DFW local app on any device, local news.